Hey guys, I am back and it is Monthly Knife Club day, night actually, but Monthly Knife Club is here for July 2020, just before the end of the month. So interesting shaped box. I'm wondering what is in it. So let's um, just get right into it. And then look, going back a while, so the old ZT0200. Um, looking at knife drawer stuff, reorganizing, and picked out an, an oldie. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so Monthly Knife Club, one of my absolute favorite subscriptions. I go with the Onyx plan because uh, it is just never, never really disappoints. Always guaranteed to get a high-end knife with there. Ooh, poker. Um, we'll see what we've got here. We'll talk more about the Onyx as we go. Towards the end of the unboxing, I'll discuss the different kind of plans that Monthly Knife Club offers. They offer so many different plans, and they basically have a plan for each, you know, for everybody's different budget. So this month we have the Boker F3-2 Carbon Fiber Frame Lock Vox. So, um, awesome. Let's see what we've got. Uh, this is a, a newer choice for Monthly Knife Club This uh, for going with Boker. The, uh, I don't think I've seen a Boker in there before. So what I really like about Monthly Knife Club is they don't just give you an MSRP. They, they go around the internet, they shop around, and they'll tell you what you'll actually find it for. So here's the, the price of the Onyx plan, okay? And here is what you're going to find this knife for on various websites all over the place. So you actually get to know the value of the knife, not just some crazy MSRP price that you know is always jacked up. There we go, here's the specs. Uh, and that way I don't have to do a whole lot of text as we're going. So you can see we've got some premium steel, premium handle materials going into there. Let's get to the knife. That is definitely Germanish, and I'm sure there's probably not Germanish in here. But there's your your registration type stuff. Here is the knife. Very nice anno on the back spacer, which I'm going to assume is aluminum, based on that. Kind of a small knife, but let's see what do we got in here. Wrench for messing with screws because look at that. Our clip goes both ways. Yeah. So it is, um, as is kind of standard, it's right hand only, but clip up, clip down. And you know what? I'm going to do that real fast because cause it comes with a wrench, and I do not like clip down. Clip? I said clip up. Tip. Tip, not clip. The cl well, it is kind of clip up, clip down as we're going here. So what do we got? We have one end for the pivot and then one for the, does this do the frame? It does frame screws and pivot screws and nothing is Loctited. Well, not the clip screws anyway, which is nice. So based on the anno on the uh, clip, I'd say that that is either, let's see if it says anodized pocket clip. Uh, it doesn't say, I, I don't know if this is an aluminum clip or a titanium clip. No, that's not aluminum. Yeah, that's a tie clip too, okay. So you know what? Maybe our backspacer is titanium. Also, I, I mean, I'd have to I'd have to do the research on the knife and find out. But just from the look of the anno on here and the finish, I would I would have thought that this was an aluminum clip. But an aluminum clip bends very easily. You can't even use a magnet to figure out because neither titanium nor aluminum are ferrous metals, so they you know that wouldn't really help us. So that should do. That is a tight clip. That clip is going to need to break in just a little. Wow. Yeah. But anyway, so we've got Bead Blast Titanium, which looks pretty nice. I don't know. What is that? Is that just... What is that? That is the end of the other screw. I don't... It's got some grease and some dirty stuff on it. There we go. The carbon fiber is nicely done. It, you know, I've always said I like carbon fiber to be either just raw or really highly finished. And this is kind of in the middle there. 
but it's still a nicely done carbon fiber. You know, this is easy to polish yourself. If you want this like done more, it's got kind of that cool holographic look to it. You take some uh, 2,500 grit, 3,000 grit sandpaper and just buff that out yourself if you want. Um, really like the anno on the backspacer. Let's see. Ready for action. It's got an interesting blade shape. Now, I don't know if that is individually serialized or if that's a model number. I'm going to have to look that up. Um, but we've got our steel marked on the blade. It's a very interesting blade shape. Um, our lockup is very early. And it is small, but it has great action. I mean, the detent is awesome. I zoomed in a little bit so that you just get a really nice view of the knife and everything as it goes. Um, definitely EDC friendly. I mean, it's a three inch blade, so that's gonna put you legal in most places. Very interesting satin finish there. Definitely a cool addition to the collection. Um, it's kind of high end knife that you wanna carry, you know, not just sitting in the collection. So, I like it a lot. Um, you know, the Onyx plan always provides you with a high-end knife. Um, not something that you just pick up at, like, you know, Walmart or um, Bass Pro or something like that. You know, since we got it out, let's do, our, let's do our, our lock strength test right now, okay? I mean, just detent is awesome, and that sound when it locks open, I love it. But, okay, so let's take a look at the lock up right there. You see it. Okay. Wait, before we do that, centering is dead center. Perfect. Okay. And that has not moved at all. No blade play. And centering has not moved. Um, that, wow. Now this, this blade finish is going to pick up fingerprints left and right and everywhere unfortunately but that action is just awesome i'm trying to see if you know without looking it up i don't i don't think these are bearings i i feel like this is just washers it just it has such an awesome detent it doesn't need any help to just shoot out of there there's no uh liner on top of that scale to save weight so it's just your carbon fiber and your lock side. Um, it's just tuned up perfectly right out of the box, you know? And this is, this would be another fidget spinner knife. You could just sit around and you could flick this in and out as you're sitting around doing nothing. It's just the action is so perfect. It is, you know, with big hands, it's a little awkward at first, but once you get your finger placement, you know, you got to be careful not to push on the lock as you're as you're doing it. But if you keep your fingers on the clip and that forefinger off the lock, you know, no problem whatsoever. Uh, we need to cut something, though, don't we? Hmm. It's not great, but there we go. Now, did I catch the choil end on that? I think I did. Interesting. Now, I'm just wondering if there is. I think I'm catch. See, the problem is it's a relatively. It's a smaller blade relative to the handle that I'm used to. And so my tendency is to start back and I'm catching this little choil area there. But if you actually use the blade to cut, you know, like normal people do, it's very nice. Let's see. A little pull through. Pretty easy. Pretty nice. Fairly clean cut. And that little push down is awesome. So cool choice for the Onyx from Monthly Knife Club. And I really like it very much so. Um, so let's talk about Monthly Knife Club real quick. This, this clip, though, this is going to be an issue. This is very, very tough. You're going to need to, I mean, it's going to be rough on your pocket. Um, only downside I see on this one. You're just going to need to uh, work it in a little bit. But awesome knife. Um, so let's talk about Monthly Knife Club a little bit. So Monthly Knife Club, and they have a sister company, USA Knife Club, 
um, which is all USA made stuff. Um, the things that come to you in Monthly Knife Club are not necessarily always made in the USA. But they have many different levels that you could subscribe to. So like for instance, I, I told you I love the Onyx plan because the Onyx plan, you I mean, I've never not got my money's worth and then some. Um, and like you see here, 119 plus shipping. And this is the value that you're gonna find this knife for around the internet. Um, it's always a higher end knife. Uh, it always, for lack of a better word, makes money. They have uh, more expensive boxes. They have the ultimate, which includes like gear and, and knives and everything. Um, now the knives might not always be as high end as in the Onyx, but you get a whole bunch of other stuff with that. They have the name brand, which gives you, um, you know, like, like a name brand as opposed to just something that's on special. Um, you know, it's, it's much less expensive, but you're always getting a decent name brand knife. They have a, a Hunter's, you know, a fixed blade box. They, they have all sorts of stuff. Um, it's really worth checking out. Um, there's, there's pretty much a subscription for everybody. And Daryl, who runs the company, I, I talk with him back and forth all the time. Uh, he's really cool about like listening to customer input and, um, if you've got ideas, he'll hear them and everything. Um, it's really cool. The only time you might find these knives for lower prices is if a, a reseller, uh, a reseller, reseller, I don't know what the right word is, um, actually violates what we call MAP, which is the minimal um, accepted pricing. And when you sign on to be a distributor, um, you are agreeing that, you know, for fairness, there's a minimal acceptable price that you can sell a knife for. If you are caught going below that, um, you know, without like some kind of special sale or something, you'll lose your rights to, to sell that, that company's stuff. And that happens every once in a while. And Daryl's really good at sending out emails saying, Hey, we found a, you know, a map violator for this knife and he'll tell you where it is too. So if you want to go get one at that price, you can, um, which is really, which is really cool, but, um, great company. Um, always has quality products. It, it, like really, if if you're looking for quality over junk quantity, this is the way to go. It really is. And I'll put I, I'll put a link to them in the video description. So really happy. Uh, there's only one knife ever that I was just like meh. You know, I wasn't disappointed, but I was like meh. Eh. I was I didn't like the looks of it, but it was a Kaiser. I mean, it was a you know. A high quality Kaiser knife. I just wasn't happy with the aesthetics, but other than that, I love everything. Sometimes you get one, sometimes um, and often you'll get you'll get two. Check them out. Um, love them. Definitely love them. And what do you guys think of the Boker Plus uh, F3 carbon fiber? Made by a great designer, by the way. You can look them up. Uh, this is, I think, would make a great addition to anyone's collection or an actual, you know, high-end carry. Not bad at all. I might even carry this one. Um, even with my big hands. This is a pretty, pretty well-engineered, great functioning EDC blade, I gotta say. So, yeah, looking forward to hearing your input on this. And remember that... You are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.